What's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna basically tell you how to fix every kind of crashing, lagging or freezing issue you're currently having with Call of Duty Cold War. So stick to the end guys, this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial and in the end you'll perfectly know what to do in order to fix this kind of issue. Before we start right into the video, I just want you guys to know or let you guys know that I would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like, a comment or a subscription right into my YouTube channel. It would really make my day and help me out as a little YouTuber as I am. Especially subscribing would be such a big support for me guys. You would support my work here on YouTube a little bit and I'm gonna really really be thankful for that. So I'm... <clears throat> So I would just say, let's get right started. So the first step is going to be to navigate to the very bottom of your screen where you're going to right click your taskbar and open up your task manager to simply use the shortcut. Next step is going to be to navigate to the top left corner of your screen where you're going to click into processes. And once you click processes, I want you to click one of those random processes, doesn't really matter which one. And afterwards, just type in C in order to find Cold War. If nothing pops up, it's good for you. If something pops up, simply right click and end the task. The next step is going to be to uh, stick around process again and I want you to end every single task which is currently running. So let me explain that, two reasons for that. First of all, too many applications, background processes, programs, whatever, running at the same time on a low end or bad PC will cause your PC to crash, lag or freeze in some way. And the second reason, like it was for me, there are some applications, background processes which are currently running and third party in your game. Don't ask me why that's happening, but it is happening and you're avoiding this issue and helping you a lot of that by just simply ending every single task. Once you finish with that, just end the task manager. The next step is going to be to right click your monitor or your desktop where something is empty, hit display settings and navigate to the top left corner where you're going to click onto display and stick around display settings where once you have the first step to identify which your main monitor is. Once you identified it, scroll down and hit display resolution where you want you to change the display resolution to the in-game resolution you're currently having. So for example, you have in 1720 by 1070, I want you to change this to 10 to 1720 by 1070. The same is for your uh, change the size of text apps and other items. I want you to just stick it to recommended so 100%. Once you're finished with that, just end the task and navigate to the bottom left corner where you're going to click onto the window symbol and open up your settings. What you're going to do next is going to be to click update in security and stick around Windows updated. I know guys it's going to sound a little bit basic, but trust me, updating every single drive you could possibly update will help you a lot of every kind of issue you're currently having and also with crashing, lagging or freezing. So just trust me and download the latest version of Windows. Once you're finished, simply end this task and do the same thing for your graphics card. So. Download the latest driver of your graphics card just to provide the best possible performance in general for your PC. And yeah guys, that's it for the video. I hope that I could actually help you out of this one. If it was like that, just leave a like, a comment or a subscription. I'm gonna really be thankful for that. And yeah guys, I'm really sorry if I couldn't help you, but I'm just gonna do my best in order to help you out. Either way, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you at the next one and bye.